Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to fight an ex parte order in Missouri. To fight an ex parte order in Missouri, it is crucial to understand the process and the rights of both the petitioner and the respondent. Filing and review process. When an ex parte order is filed, the judge reviews the petition based solely on the information provided by the petitioner. The judge can grant the ex parte order and set a hearing date, deny the ex parte order but set a hearing date, or deny the ex parte order entirely. Full hearing. If a full hearing is set, both the petitioner and the respondent must appear with the option to have counsel. At this hearing, the petitioner must testify under oath and present evidence to prove the allegations by a preponderance of the evidence. The respondent has the right to cross-examine the petitioner and any witnesses and to present their own evidence and testimony. Burden of proof. The petitioner bears the burden of proving that the allegations of abuse, domestic violence, or stalking are more likely true than not. The respondent can refute these claims or show that their actions were justified under the law. Specific findings and orders. If the judge grants a full order of protection, they will make specific written findings based on the evidence presented. This order can last from 180 days to 10 years, depending on the findings. The court can also extend the order at a renewal hearing. Implications for the respondent. A full order of protection can have significant implications for the respondent including potential restrictions on their Second Amendment rights and the possibility of criminal charges for any violations of the order. Defending against the order. To defend against an ex parte order, it is advisable to seek legal counsel. The rules of discovery under the Missouri Rules of Civil Procedure apply, allowing for a thorough defense against the allegations. Dismissal of the order. If the petitioner seeks to dismiss the ex parte or full order of protection, they must file a motion to dismiss. In many cases, a hearing is required to determine whether the dismissal is voluntary. The court ensures that the decision to dismiss is informed and voluntary by requiring a meeting with an advocate or court professional. Emergency and accessibility. If the situation is an emergency and the courthouse is closed, paperwork can be submitted to the local jail or police department. There is no filing fee for an ex parte order of protection but attorney fees may be assessed if the court assigns a guardian ad litem. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.